we the people and citizens are two different things. Citizens are, you know, part of the corporation. It's it, there's somebody who agrees to all the terms and um, follows the curriculum. Uh, this uh, this country is supposed to be a nation of laws is supposed to be a constitutional republic it's not supposed to be a two-party legal system a two-party system or a legal system it's a nation of laws not a legal system it's a constitutional republic not a two-party government all that is hogwash bs There is no, there's not supposed to be parties. Parties, that's communism. This is, this, the country is, uh, if anything, if, if, if any split, it's split into two. It's, it's the um, United States nation and it's the United States Union. Um, the union is comprised of all the agents that are supposed to uphold our rights and serve and protect us, our country, and the greater good. We the people are to be free to prosper and grow. We're not supposed to be restricted, limited, or um, regulated. There's no, there's not supposed to be regulation on capitalism. Capitalism, if there's a regulation on capitalism, that's not capitalism, that's regulation. We're supposed to we're supposed to be profitable. We're supposed to be able to profit. If we want to sell lemonade at three years old with no permit, no license, we're 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 supposed to be able to sell us some lemonade. That's called capitalism. That's prosper. That's that's profiting. We're supposed to be able to profit off the use of our own labor. We're supposed to be able to profit off the use of our own profit property. Our labor is our property. Our rights are our property. The government's running all the way backwards. If you think you're a citizen, you're dead wrong. You're supposed to be we the people. There's two differences. We the people and citizens. Which one are you? You do not have to be a citizen to have rights. Rights come from the grace of God. Rights are because we're human. They're inherent. We were born with eyes, therefore we have a right to see. We were born with a mouth and a vocal cord in our, lung, in our throats, therefore we have the right to speak. The only way you can get, uh, take away the right to speak is by taking away the vocal box. The air that we breathe comes up through our throat, through our vocal box. That's how the Creator intended it. That's why we have a an ability to speak it's because the way that we are, we speak is through the same hole that we breathe that's that's the whole basis of most of our rights property our vocal cords our vocal box our lungs our breath that's our property the basis of life um <clears throat> Citizens, that that stuff started back in the day when they tricked everybody. They tricked everybody into thinking the citizen was something to be a proud, proud to be. They had people uh, put their hand on their heart and swear an allegiance to a flag. While all of that stuff might be uh, good and everything, like cool, like not, not like totally wrong to do it's not needed it doesn't make you an American it doesn't make you have rights the country is supposed to uphold the rights of every human they're not supposed to only uphold the rights of the white they're not only supposed to uphold the rights of the black they're not only supposed to uphold the rights of the green they're not only supposed to uphold the rights of the um, 
Chinese. They're not supposed to only uphold the rights of the North Korean. They're not only supposed to uphold the rights of the Mexican or the Honduran. They're supposed to uphold the rights of the human. If you're human and you're within the United States, you are supposed to have all the protections and immunities. I was born on a geographical portion of land that they call Utah. I'm indigenous. I was born in the area known as North America. Um, I was born in the area they call United States. Uh, but uh, that doesn't mean I, that doesn't, that's not the reason why I have rights. I could have been born on the moon and I'd still have the right to speak. Even if nobody was there to listen to me, I'd have the right to speak. The uh, protester is not supposed to be taken away from the area. Neither is the counter protester. The counter protester has a right to hear the protester. The protester has a right to hear the counter protester. The only thing they don't have a right to do is punch each other in the face or otherwise attack each other in a physical manner. These things are the basis of our of our lives, let alone our country. Um, where is the constitutional republic? Why do we have this two-party democratic system? It's not good. The vote has been nothing but a lie. They make everybody believe that there's a vote so that they can appoint whoever they want. You guys don't put the name on the ballot. The government puts the names on the ballot. If I tried to become president tomorrow, I wouldn't have the money to. They wouldn't even they wouldn't even recognize my name. They wouldn't even recognize my my bid. It's horrible. It's horrible what they do what they're doing. They're dividing and conquering. That's what it is. Dividing is conquering. If they can tell you where to go and who to be, where to stand, they can, they're, they're controlling you. It's called control. You do not want to be controlled. That's not freedom. That's not prosperity. You are, you are not going to profit in control. You can only profit in freedom. Everything about the United States today, as we know it, is a lie. Everybody's like, no, they can. They can. Oh, wait, they can just because that's all you know? That's what they taught you through force and violence? If you don't comply and just go into their cage, they will put you in their cage. They're more than willing to um, admit that right now. It's been wrong. What the government's been doing with the goons, the thugs, the cops and badges and patches and other gang regalia that the cops and the government wear, it's been wrong. They are not supposed to be treating human beings like this. They are not the rulers, they are not the controllers. They are not supposed to be mind controlling. They are not supposed to be teach. There is no public school curriculum. That's corporate school curriculum. That is not public school curriculum. They call it public school because they've been lying for years, for decades, for centuries now they've been lying. People need to know this people need to um people need to figure out what's going on people need to hear if you have ears let them hear the government is not supposed to be controlling people the government is not supposed to be telling anybody what to do 
Not for the greater good, not for the individual good, not for anybody. They're supposed to be serving for the good, serving for the individual, serving for the greater good. As soon as they try to use an excuse that they're doing this for the greater good, that's when it should obviously be, no, no, you're not. You're not doing it for the greater good. You're doing it as an excuse for the greater good for yourself. We know it. We recognize it to be true. It's over. The time has come. Whether it be in my lifetime or now, tomorrow, whatever. The time has come. There needs to be no more control. No more telling people what to do. The only time that uh, somebody should be stopped is if they're com committing an actual harm at the time, in the site. The way things are right now, they make people think that they can't even defend their own neighbor. What, so we have to sit there and watch the neighbors get beat up? What if, if there's not a cop around, we need to call the cop while we watch some neighbor get harmed? That's totally backwards to a free, a free environment, you know, a free country. We do not have to sit back and watch our neighbors get harmed stolen from while we call and wait for the cops to arrive that's that's backwards to safety maybe i'll elaborate on this later but for right now i just want to go i've said enough